And if you knock one down in here, it's because you're trying to win. It's tight and it's fast. Ballon Taylor knocked down a barrel last night, kind of dropped her to seventh in the average. $34,000 richer at this point, over four rounds. Here comes our reigning world champion. She's been running good. Here you go. Yeah, she's been running good. She's hit a couple barrels, but other than that, Baby Blue's been strong. This might be her best start yet. Good chance. Now watch the clock because it definitely should be fast. Lots of speed out of there. It's 1371. That was lightning. Yeah, she had Baby Flow dialed in. You could tell from the very beginning. Top of the ground, and she moves to the lead at 1371. It's just a pretty wicked pace for the 14 barrel racers that will follow her. Here comes Nancy Hunter. Yeah, she, Nancy Hunter's got something to do now. 1371 is a great run. She's got two barrels down. The third barrel kind of cuts it in a little bit, rocks it, but it doesn't fall down. Now it's the horse race part. 1362. Wow. I am so glad to see that for Nancy. Yeah, this isn't Houston either, is it, buddy? <laughs> this is a win in Vegas. <laughs> Man. Well, that's 1371. Match the quickest time we've seen all week. And 1362 blows that away. Here comes four-time world champion, Cherry Serby. Well, it's never over till she's done. Although this is the third horse she's ran, this is a horse that's called Sweet. Dana Kirkpatrick owns this horse, and I'll tell you, if Sherry Serving gets on one, I'll guarantee it's going to be good, but 14 and 11. Boy, after those first two, that's a little bit off I'm the base. I'm telling you, that 13-6. Oh, <laughs> my. Well, let's see what kind of mixed latte's got going tonight. Jerry Walker, world champion in 2000. Oh, All right, latte. First barrel's a little bit, kind of like he almost got a little bit, he fell back around it. Two barrels down. Got to go to the third. She gets him by it. Clocks at 11, it's going to be the horse race part that is going to be 14 flat, 14 even. Third best at the moment. Hunter 1362 still sitting at the top. And here's the gal that won last night's round with a time of 1371. This is a Blue Rome rocket, I'm telling you. Well, and she hustles this thing like a Blue Rome rocket. I love the way she rides. You talk about get out over things and keep things close going forward, and it's going to be fast for sure. Hold your breath. <laughs> oh, 1397. Wow, third place. It looks like that's 30 seconds of work in 13 seconds. Man, you are exactly oh, right. Man. And then here comes the dead eyes, yeah. and here comes Lisa and Louie. Number two in the average, number one in the world. She's won 54,000 over four rounds. Here we go, Louie around the first. You betcha. Oh, you. that was tight. All the way to the second. Make sure you get around it. One more turn. It's down here by the bucket. She stumbles. He comes out of the good, though. Big stumble at the third barrel. And still runs a 13.75. And that's third place. That's how tough this round is. Man, look, that first barrel, look uh, at, ooh, just a little old bitty bump there, Butch. Yeah, I'll bet Lisa. <laughs> I'll bet that panicked her a little. But it's not over. Here comes Dylan. Gally DeFerrier came in here number one in the world, starts tonight third in the average, third in the world standings. She's well, she's starting to find her, her, her momentum. Yeah, she placed last night. She has to. She's made. Yeah, yeah, good chance. Dylan, good clean run at 1386. That puts her fourth. Yeah, you can tell the Cali's getting a little more comfortable. It's kind of tricky to match with the Thomas and Max Center, especially the first time you've qualified. How does that go? She has been here six times. Twice in the 90s, in 95 and 99. Yeah, like 22 times in the Canadian Finals. That horse is going to dive in the second barrel. Rocked it going in, had to come back around it. Blows off the third barrel, and it'll show on her time for sure. You know, and Deb's kind of the Sherry Serby of Canada, really. You exactly. Know? She's just had an amazing career. A little trouble here. She's having a hard time finding a horse that really fits this arena. This is Oscar. This is the horse she ran the first night. She'll figure things out. Here comes Jana B. Not a whole lot of success for her in those first four rounds and tough start on that first barrel. Well, a big stumble going into that first, and that really is what caused the problem on the second. You know, that if you don't get around your first barrel in good shape and help your horse position himself, it's tough in about four strikes. They're in there and ready to turn again. Boy, things went south there. Vicki Carter, we talked about her, a Wrangler NFR rookie at the age of 60. Tough go around already. 1386 when it four, so you know you're gonna have to just send him and hope it works. You want to check? And she does. She sends him to the back end. Stumbles again. Oh, yeah. First goes all the way to the fence before he got his feet back under him. A good second barrel. Goes into the third. You know the first barrel is just gonna be the culprit here. Gonna set this time off. 1446.
you got to keep in mind, that first barrel's blind. I mean, you're coming down through there full speed, and you, you hit the front lines of the Thomas and Mack Center. That's the first time you can see that barrel. Yeah, and that timer, guys, is at the alley, you know, right at the alleyway, so you've got to send them and be running so you get the time. Here comes Jackie Gannon, fourth in the average. Very important that she leaves them all standing. That was close right yep. there. So well, kind of on that first barrel. Get around that third one. It's clean before that was a that was a close call on that first barrel. 14-32 in a tough round. Not gonna move her in the top six. Yeah, it's like they're they're going, they're kind of sliding by it, you know, and they're coming back out of the pocket really, so it's hard for those horses to get back around it and get moved over, like you said, Butch. Three jumps and you're over. Yeah. Shelby Cloud just kind of threads the needle right there. She won round two with a time of 13.89. Yeah, it looks like he kind of got by the first a little bit, but he, he comes around so fast and pushes away from him. She's around the third. You know, she's down on the ground quite a ways. Makes a nice run, 14.11. Yeah, you know, her winning time of 13.89 in round two wouldn't even get her in the top four. That's how tough this round Crazy, is. Crazy, isn't it? 13.62, <laughs> Nancy Hunter has the lead. Here comes Carly Richardson. Thank you. See how Radio handle. Oh, I was just going to say, that now. answers my question, how this horse handles that first barrel, because he ran such a perfect pattern. Now she's just going to lope through it. That was a little scary on that first barrel. She did a good job just staying in there. That's a gorgeous gray horse. A little bit of the splits there on that first barrel. Yeah, that's scary right there when you feel look at me. He went to his belly. Yeah. He was trying to drag a leg and get a hold of that ground, but the ground just wouldn't hold him right there. All right, here we go. Taylor Jacob, you know, Taylor's one of those girls, if they're all pointing the right direction when she heads for home, it doesn't matter where she is, she can still get a check. And you know what, Butch, it's an advantage to the left barrel just first. Gonna say that, you know, Joe. the left barrel first this far down in the ground, it lets her clock in and at 1376. You know, that ground hadn't been tore up as much coming into the first barrel as the right barrel, and I think a left hand first is an advantage late in the ground. Yeah, so Fallon, Taylor, Taylor Jacob, two of the gals that have that advantage going for them. Yeah, and even JJ had some trouble on that first one. He did. He got was around it, He though. was scrambling around. Yeah. He was trying to stand up, but he just never got a good hold to the ground. Oh, good, good shot. Oh, my God. Oh, my hey, gosh. She was number one in the average. And that was a big she was out right of the saddle down here all the way. What a recovery. But what about that tough round? Nancy Hunter, this is in Houston. Look at that. That is crazy right there. Get back up there. <laughs> She was oh, tops of the wild. average, still ran just barely over 14 seconds. Kathy Cruz, 71, almost 72,000 for her in the first four rounds. But Nancy Hunter strikes tonight. 13.62 the winning time. Fallon Taylor, Baby Blow, they're back on track. 13.71, Jessica Booth results. They wind up in second. You had tremendous success in really large arenas. How did you adjust and prepare for the Thomas and Mack with Fuzz? Well, it's taken us a few rounds to do that. And Puzz is a real great horse. I love him and he's been a blessing, but he doesn't want to run out that alleyway. So we've really been trying to make some changes on him and shorten him up a little bit. And he did really good tonight. I'm so proud of him. It all paid off. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That was a spectacular run. I'll say.